Right now we are local. We are local to Earth. <laughs> and Earth is a lovely place, and we like being on Earth. But we're thinking maybe we want to expand a little bit further. The next present presenter that we're going to have is going to show us maybe how we can get started just on that. It's open source space flight hardware. What? <laughs> By Greg Moran. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Greg, and I'm going to talk to you tonight about open source space flight hardware. And did you know that only 600 people have ever had the opportunity to travel in space? That's one millionth of one percent of the folks have ever had that opportunity. And it's sad because it's such an amazing experience, and it shouldn't be limited to such a small and special group of people. And um, as the vice president of Mach 30, we are working to increase those odds for everybody here. And to, to tell you a little bit about how we plan to do that, I first want to talk about open source software. And a definition of open source software is software or product that has origins, formulas, and the design, etc., openly available and free to the public. In fact, some of the most successful companies in the world would not exist today without open source software. And that concept, those principles, have expanded beyond software and into physical things like hardware projects, circuits. The growth of this industry has spawned things like an annual conference, and they've gotten publicity through blogs and through magazines. Even the industries like farm equipment, cars, printers, yes, and even space is taking advantage of open source. And to describe how spaceflight is taking advantage of that, we first need to talk about what it actually means to be spacefaring. So the definition's here on the board, but I prefer to think about it in terms of what it means or the similarities to seafaring, or being able to live and operate safely in and around the sea or the ocean. But, so, are we spacefaring already? I mean, we have advances in medical technology because of space. We have uh, industry in terms of commercial or economic markets. But with one millionth of one percent of people being accessible to space, I'd say we're not quite there yet. But by using open source methodologies, I think the possibility of opening us up to space faring within my lifetime is a real possibility. And uh, as a Vice President of Mach 30, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, it actually turns out that there's a dozen other people as crazy as I am. <laughs> and so uh, there's examples across the country of, of folks, uh, Copenhagen Suborbitals and Mach 30, are the two I'm going to talk about tonight. But um, Portland State Aerospace Society does all of their senior designs open source. There's the Ultralight Space Flight Federation, the open source movement. And um, so let's go specifically to Copenhagen. Uh, based in Denmark, Peter and Christian are leading their team of 30 volunteers towards the goal of launching themselves into space. And uh, you can see one example here. There's several more examples on their blog. The Rocket Shop, based in, or from Wired Magazine. And uh, they have some pictures, like capsule on the upper right is sized for one person. That's what I want to do. <laughs> so, the second group I'm going to talk to tonight is uh, Mach 30. And uh, we are uh, incorporated 501c3, public charity in Dayton, Ohio. We've recently celebrated our third birthday of incorporation. Woohoo! Woohoo! Right, thank you. Uh, what we've spent most of our time doing so far is developing the enabling technologies and the fundamental tools which will allow the collaboration of these open source hardware groups, specifically the open design engine and Open Airing Wiki, which are critical for open source hardware projects to exist in the first place. Projects such as the Shepard Test Stand on the left, or High Altitude Balloons on the right, which are stepping stone approaches to getting us access to space. But since we're doing this in an open manner, anyone has access to see what we're doing. And everybody can contribute from the local hackerspace or sign artists or people who typeset presentations. Everybody can participate. <laughs> so in order to see how to participate, we started something called the drawing board, which is where we put our technical and non-technical projects alike. So if you have any ideas related to space or how to get there, please visit that site. 
Uh, we also have, of course, the requisite Facebook page, Google+, Twitter, Flickr, YouTube, you name it. So we're, we're there. We're on the internet. Please come and find us or email me directly, gmm at mock30.org. And so I'd like to close this presentation by saying ad astra per civitatum, which means to the stars through community. Woo! And that community is you. So please come and talk to me after the talk and talk about how you can get involved.